Hello, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to capture VHS home movie footage on a computer and convert it to a digital format. For this, you will need a Windows um, lap, uh, laptop or desktop, whatever you want. M pretty much any computer should work as long as it was made after the year 2010. It's not very picky, but you do need to have a CD-ROM drive and a USB port and um, like enough RAM to function as a computer. And you will also need a VHS player, VCR, and a um, VHS to DVD conversion kit. These can be bought really easily on eBay. I'm personally using the Honus Tech version, and this version um, requires a um, well, this version comes with a, um, a, but I don't know if it's a CD-ROM, and it also comes with a, this little thing, a, um, it's the, um, video capture device. It converts, um, but you hook it up through the, um, VCR in the back, you use the, um, audio output cables, and you hook them up to the cables on this device. And so I already have this set up on my computer, so it's not going to work if I do it again. You want to take the uh, CD-ROM that it comes with, and you want to eject it into the CD drive. I'm not going to open that because, you know, I don't want to deal with reinstallation. And you, all you have to do is, like, you know, open the CD-ROM file and install the drive. It's not that complicated. It comes with the instructions. And so moving past that, when you do, it should come with a... Um, app called VHS to DVD Advanced. It's a executable file, so it won't work on a um, Mac because the pathways are such a crucial part to the process that if you, even if you use a wine bottler or something that'll convert EXE to app, it won't run properly. And so as soon as that's open, you want to turn on your VCR and you should be confronted with the audio output screen. If not, you want to um, flip through the channel device. You want to tune to channel three or four until you get what you need because the frequency only frequency of the vhs because it's analog media only will tune to those channels and so i'm not going to demonstrate the home movie in case the off chance it's a vcr ends up eating the tape i will be using a james bond vhs and so the steps you want to um take the capture device which is installed with the cd rom this one is pretty straightforward it's very different from using a regular display capture device because if you use that, it won't, um, if you use a regular one, it won't capture the aspect ratio properly causing distortion, which is not very easy to fix. And so you want to place the VHS into the VCR and run it. The video capture device should work properly. You want to press record. And so I'm not going to record a whole bunch of this because, you know, I don't want to get um, a cease and desist letter, and actual conversions take a very long time, so I'm just going to record a snippet of it. Of course, you would have it run the entire length of the VHS, and output times and times for downloading and uploading would take a while, so you want, basically you just want to go to the burn setting. You can do editing. I would not recommend doing that with an old laptop, which is what this is. You want to drag the file types you want to have in there. You want to do burn. You don't want to create, you don't want to record to media because that becomes problematic because then you have to run it through physical media, which is less um, easy and simpler to do. And so you just want to create a DVD folder on your laptop and then you want to create physical media. Oops, looks like I pressed stop there. I'm just going to take the VHS out. We don't need that anymore. I would not recommend doing this with, like, you know, copyrighted VHSs, because while this one doesn't, most of them have something called macrovision, which prevents copyrighted data from being written to a physical piece of media, and it'll... Very legal, you don't want to do that. And so this is taking a little bit of time. I'm going to go come back to you when the process is finished. Okay, I'm back in... It is displaying a message saying that it was, oh, let me just zoom in a little bit. Let me go, there you go. 
And so it should say that it is finished making a file. You do not want to keep the clip on your HDD that takes up space. You can have it automatically. Um, so you want to go to then you want to go to your um, you know your um, your dad but if store file explorer that's what it's called let's bring on it, and then you want to go to your um, I don't know which section this is in actually, I'll be right back when I find it guys. Okay, it's in your document section. You want to go to a folder that installed called VHS to DVD. Um, you want to go to DVD folders because that's where the VOB is being stored. You want to look for the one you did. I can tell this is the date. And so then you want to open a file converter program. This one is WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. It is a paid service. I would recommend trying to find a free one if you can because this one's very expensive. And so when you find the folder pathway, you actually can't um, select on here. So you want to go to browse and you want to go to the correct folder. And you want to click on the VOB folder and do the video section because VOBs are actually a Windows Movie Maker file type and will not work with most online programs. And you want to convert it to a MOV or an MP4. So you'll just have that run. It's not going to take that long because mine is very quick. It's a very small file, but if you're going to do a longer one, you're going to want to have that run for a while and it'll take long. You want to have adequate ventilation for a computer fan because it's very, very, um, RAM intensive process. Obviously mine's finished yours, depending on how long it could take like five minutes to a few hours. And so you'll find the digital file there. It won't always though. You have to select, set it to open the correct file type. If you can't find it, if it doesn't automatically open for you, you'll find it in the videos folder under a folder called, um, WinX DVD. And so you'll find this here. And so it'll be a playing of whatever you recorded. And yeah, that is how you convert physical media of analog um, VHSs. I usually use it with home movies to a digital file type.